Hey everybody, it's Memphis J here from Black and Tan Productions, and I've got a uh, quick how-to tutorial on uh, DaVinci Resolve and how to do stabilization. Stabilization is probably the most common. So anyway, this is a uh, wedding that I am in the process of editing, and I've got some clips here. I'm in the color tab of DaVinci Resolve. If you're new, you may want to watch some basics before you jump into this one. I'm in the process of, you know, here I am editing blah 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 and I see some stuff that I, I need to uh, actually all three of these sections need to be stabilized there they have a little bit of camera movement I was doing this with a monopod out in the field behind this kind of little barn and uh, you know a couple of times where I was moving I only had one camera so I don't have another angle to go to and I'm trying to see if I can get a little bit of this stabilized and if it'll work so I've already done a little bit of it, but I'm going to break it back down for you um, on how the process is. So you're going to select the clip and make sure it's outlined in red like this is. And on this clip, I'm looking at, if you look at this line here, the third one over is what I'm on color wheels. You're going to want to go over to this one, which looks like a crosshairs, and it's called tracker. Now go to tracker, and where it says window here, click down, click stabilizer. So yours is not going to have these lines in here. I have already uh, checked these files and stabilized them, um, had it analyzed them. But I am going to click Bypass Stabilization so that you're going to see this clip for what it is before any stabilization was done to it. Um, so here goes with that. It's not a real long clip, but you can see there's a lot of bouncing around from it. I'm going to go back to it. See, jumping left to right, photographer comes by, now you're on to the next clip. To show you how the stabilize function works, um, you have this little panel here, and to start it, you click the stabilize. You've got the power of cropping ratio, uh, defaults at 0 0.50, and smoothness defaults at 0.25. Sometimes I cut this smoothness up not always all the way to 1, maybe somewhere around 90, 80, something like that. That's something you may want to play with. And then you click this Stabilize button. Then it's going to take a, a few minutes, depending upon the length of the clip, to stabilize it. In my case, I've already got it stabilized. Um, now, when you before you click the Stabilize, you've got the option to click the Camera Lock or the Zoom. The Zoom tries to do an automatic zoom. So, let's look at it without zoom on. I'm going to click Bypass Stabilization off, and let's look at this clip one more time after it stabilized it, and notice that regions around here, as it tried to move the frame, you can see it did a lot of uh, black lines around here. Now, if I click zoom, it's going to do its best to remove any black around the edges and zoom in for the cleanest shot. Sometimes in my opinion though it zooms in a little bit too much. Let's see how it goes. Kind of cut him off for a second there. Not too bad. But um, just to give you a little bit more in depth if you don't want to go with what they think is right on the zoom function, I'm going to turn zoom back off by clicking this off. So zoom is back off and if I watch it it's going to look like this jumping around on the screen. No good. So what we're going to do is we're going to click back to this edit tab and this is the clip we're working on here. I'll bring it um, I'll bring it into the middle here and zoom in just a little bit for the heck of it. So if you see it's bouncing around here. There's an easy way to fix that though sometimes it takes a little bit of time. If you click your inspector on and then make sure you're on video You've got this transform section where you can zoom in and out, and then you've got a position that will be left and right and then up and down. So on the zoom, sometimes what I like to do with this is just kind of shoot through this video and see where these black lines along the outside get to be the largest. They look to be pretty large right there up at the top and on the left and then they get really big here down at the bottom so before we do anything I'm gonna to try to start zooming to compensate for that so I'm going to this zoom area and I'm gonna grab it and slide it to the left or the right to zoom this video out and I'm gonna zoom it out to where all of that on that side is gone 
So I know that there's a lot of video left up here. Zoom it back out a little bit. Now, remember it came in about here. You got it across the top. Looks like I've zoomed far enough in that all of that is gone. Kind of scrubbing back and forth and making sure that it looks like I've gotten all of those edges gone. Uh, see right up there at the top where it kind of dips down on me during that little section? So I'm going to find where it goes about the longest, and if I want to zoom in a little bit more, I can to correct that. Okay, now it's gone. Another thing you could do is you move your y-axis up or down like this to compensate. Now in this case, I'm not going to... I want to get as much as I can without having those black bars along the edges. This is not the perfect footage, but I still like his little kiss there. So I'll decide later. I don't have to make all my editing decisions right now. I'm just trying to clean it up so it's a little bit easier for me to watch. So hopefully that helped you. Like I said, we're going to keep this quick. I did want to get a little bit in depth with it though, so to make sure if uh, you want to recap real quick, you go to the color section, make sure you've selected the right clip by going back and forth here. You're going to select how you want the ratios, smoothness, going to click stabilize, yada yada, it does its deal, and then after that you can choose if you want zoom on or off even after it's been stabilized, and then you can go back into your edit tab, go to inspector, and then use the zoom and position to position your video where you want it. So hopefully that helps you check out black and tan media for all kinds of stuff we do. Um, we are a full service wedding DJ and videography company, as well as licensed drone pilots. So if we can help you in the Middle Tennessee our surrounding areas, let us know. Thanks for watching this video. Hope it helped you out. Take it easy.